everybody. Um, my name is Kelly. Uh, I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, uh, and Etsy. And welcome to my channel if this is your first time. Um, I have a haul video, as I'm sure you guessed by reading the description. Um, my mom came to town and my mom is a reseller as well, um, though she's retired so she has a ton more time than I do to do this. But that doesn't stop us from going shopping when she comes to visit. So um, we hit garage sales. Uh, this is from last weekend, um, although uh, approximately a week ago. I've wanted to film this for a while, but I work um, in an uh, office job, um, you know, Monday through Friday, and so uh, I wanted to wait until a week. I actually went into the office and did my makeup and whatnot and looked somewhat presentable, um, and then the day got away from me. So this is sort of the end result uh, late in the day, so we're just sort of going with it at this point. Um, but my mom came to town, uh, we went to thrift stores, we went to garage sales, we hit up a couple church sales, um, and found some, I think, pretty cool stuff. It's been a week since I've looked through anything, so there are some highlights that I definitely remember, and then there are things in um, the messy pile sitting next to me. Uh, that I have no idea what they are. So it'll be really interesting as I go through it. I'm sure I'll be excited to show. Um, I spent $122.42 on everything. Um, and I don't remember if I did a cost per item, but I will break that down and put it in the description. Uh, so first up, this is just a Victoria's Secret pink uh, metal water bottle. It's got the little dog on the back, so I don't know, I figured it was super cheap and I would pick it up and if it isn't worth reselling then I will just use it myself because who doesn't need another water bottle around? Um, we have, oh I picked these up because um, they're 7 by Melissa McCarthy, um, or 7 for Melissa McCarthy, and um, I picked them up primarily because, you know, obviously they were a plus size, they were in really nice shape. Um, and I know that, you know, this brand tends to do pretty well with, um, you know, with plus size ladies. Um, I do like to keep, um, you know, plus size options in all of my closets because uh, plus size girls need to shop too. Uh, this one's just for me. I just really liked the, um, the color of the plaid. It's just pure energy, so nothing big, but um, I just loved the, the plaid. It's showing up a little bit more red, but it's definitely pink and navy and orange, and I loved it. And so that's going to go in a separate pile for me. Um, this is a pair of ex officio, um, sort of hiking, you know, outdoor lightweight pants. Um, I heard about this brand, oh, I think probably through, um, another reseller, possibly like the bin pickers videos or whatnot, but, um, just a nice lightweight cargo pockets. Um, so I picked those up. Uh, one of the thrift stores that we went to, um, I don't go to very often because it's a bit of a haul. It's probably 20 minutes away from my house, which really isn't that bad when I think about it. Um, but we went there and one of the things that they do is all clothing items, uh, I should say all adult clothing items, so kids items are different, um, except for dresses and coats um, are all uh, 15 for $10. Um, so it's a pretty good deal. <laughs> so I uh, picked up uh, some of the stuff there. Um, this is an Under Armour uh, women's. I am not entirely sure what it is, if I'm being honest. It's um, heavyweight stretch knit. Um, it almost is like a scuba. It's not scuba in the sense of being like that um, that neoprene material, but it's definitely um, that like sucking in sort of material. I, I don't know if it's a tennis dress or what, but it's got kind of a high-low um, going on on the bottom, so I figured um, for for that I would pick it up and do some research on it. And I know that Under Armour is pretty saturated for, you know, just your, your regular everyday, like, you know, yoga pants and t-shirts and stuff like that, but I figured that was a unique piece. Um, these are just some BDG, uh, you know, girls, not girls, but women's, teeny tiny women's, um, jeans. They are the mom high rise, which is the primary reason that I bought them, um, especially with back to school. Um, you know, they've got some distressing on the legs and, um, I figured, uh, for, for the fall and for back to school, uh, there was like a skinny mini out there that would, uh, would love to wear those for going back to school. 
Another pair of jeans. These are some great classic 90s that I had when I was in high school. So they're Xena jeans. They're a size 12. I always like finding a little bit of the bigger sizes when it comes to the like vintage mom jeans, just because they're a little bit harder to find. Um, so they've got like the nice stone wash. Whoever tried them on, it looks like had tried to like cuff them a little bit, like they were boyfriend style, which I actually really like. Um, so just, you know, some some classic high-waisted mom jeans. A uh, pair of men's Carhartt. Oh, I don't think so. I think these were actually women's now that I'm thinking about it. Yep, they were. They're women's 1230. Um... Carhartt uh, work pants. So, you know, khaki, they've got the carpenter belt loops and all of that. Um, my mom does a lot with um, with Carhartt in the men's clothing and um, that does really well for her. So when I saw those and it was like the 15 for 10 bucks, um, I figured I would give it a shot. I apologize now for any like those sorts of wrinkly sounds. If that drives you insane, I apologize. Um, I love vintage. I love um, what a lot of people would probably consider like ugly vintage, but I know that there are, um, I'm in the Midwest, so I know that there are probably, you know, kids out on the coasts that are maybe a little bit more trendy and wearing some of this like ugly grandma stuff, so I pick it up. Um, this is a very, it reminds me of like a kindergarten teacher, um, but it's this sort of sweater vest um, and then the butterfly pattern goes around to the back. Um, it just, it reminds me of a kindergarten teacher. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Oh, just a, a life, life is good, um, pajamas, actually. So it's like a night shirt. Um, life is good, you know, a good brand. It's not gonna, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna pay off my mortgage or anything with it, but, uh, I was just joking with my husband that my favorite thing to do is to turn a quarter into like 16 bucks profit because you do that a couple times, about a hundred times, and you're starting to make some real money. So, um, of course, I wish everything that I sold was $200, but um, I love taking things that I can get at um, church sales and things like that and just making a good profit. Um, another shirt that I picked up is Lucky Brand. It's what I would consider like a pretty traditional Lucky Brand item. Um, it's sort of that um, woven, um, like long underwear type material, um, but it's a long sleeve with this really pretty like um, boho kind of Asian print to it. This is a, oh, I remember this. Um, this is a Madewell silk top. Um, it's teensy, teensy, tiny. Um, I think it's an extra small if I'm right. Yep, it's an extra small. And it still has like the barb tag on it. So my guess is that this may have never been worn. Um, and it's just a really pretty um, kind of Moroccan print. And then it's got an exposed zipper in the back. That'll need a good steam before I put it out. Um, this was just cool, and I have a second one in another color, and it'll be in a future bag. Um, but I wasn't familiar with the brand. It's called Sugarfly. Um, and I looked it up, and it looks like some people are tagging it as Anthro. Um, maybe some people, I think, had put in there um, Nordstrom or Urban Outfitters. Um, the RN numbers didn't match, so I'm not entirely sure, but they were just really, really cool with this, like, exposed ruffle. Um, and then in the back, you can see there's, like, some uh, waistband and some ruching. Um, it's just a really nice um, kind of hooded sweatshirt. Okay, if I did this well, uh, it'll be seamless. My daughter knocked on the door and uh, wanted to say goodnight. So um, I paused but accidentally stopped it, so now I'm going to have to somehow magically edit those two things together. I know that seems super duper basic, but I don't do anything like that. So, fun for me. Again, I'm sorry for the crinkles. I literally have just left everything in the bags that they came in. Um, so we'll, we'll explore together. Um, oh, these are from that same store. Um, so I love vintage gift wrap. Um, it's long tail, so don't think that you're going to get it and it's going to make you a million dollars super duper fast, but it is super fun. Um, so this is original Lion King um, wrapping paper. They had two packs of it. Um, so I figured with the new movie coming out um, that that would be uh, something worth picking up and they were a dime each so I'm not gonna kick that out right 
Um, this is a finished baby blanket. So it's it's from a kit. Um, it's from it's on here somewhere, and I don't remember what it was, but I think it's Dimensions. Um, it's just a it's a finished baby blanket. Um, you know, it's kind of lightly quilted, but the whole thing is a stamped cross stitch. Um, and then finished actually, you know, pretty nicely on the back here. So, um, pick that up because, um, from what I have gathered, um, so I've been reselling for, oh, uh, about a year and a half now. Um, and one of the things that I've gathered is I, I do a lot with, um, uh, like cross stitch and cruel kits, or at least I pick them up when I can. Um, but one of the things that I've noticed is that maybe people can't do those things anymore. Like they don't have the skills, um, you know, younger people may not have learned or people in general may just not have had a family member that was into this sort of crafts. And so they uh, will buy finished products like that to be able to give still a handmade gift. Um, so for, I think it was a dollar, I'll pick that up all day. Um, Again, sort of the vintagey, uh, ugly, cool for somebody. Um, it's uh, sort of a 90s embroidered chambray shirt, short sleeves. Um, I just loved how vibrant the, um, the embroidery was. And it's a bigger size, too. Um, the size tag is cut out, but my guess would be that it's probably a women's um, 1X or 2X, something like that. And it's a little bit longer, too, so it's almost more of a tunic length. Uh, this is the other one. This is that same, um, that same sugar, sugar fly brand, um, but in this really pretty distressed purple, same style, um, same like raw, it's just so cool. There's like raw hedges, raw edges, um, for the hem and, um, I don't know, it just, I, it's, oh, it just, it's really cool. I really liked them. Um, so I'll, I'll still have to do some research and figure out where they're sold, but that's problems for another day. Um, vintage swimwear is another thing that I really like. So this is vintage Land's End, um, obviously 90s with sort of the high, high bikini bottoms and then the matching um, underwire bikini top. Um, I would love to get those listed right away as obviously we're running out of summer, um, at least where I am, but... Uh, stuff sells all year. So I've sold Christmas stuff in the middle of uh, summer. I've sold shorts in the middle of winter, right? People go on vacations. People do all sorts of stuff. So there's no season in reselling. Uh, this I just picked up at a random garage. So I think this may have, this was the only thing I got there, but um, it's a men's hooded sweatshirt. Uh, it is life is good. Um, and I picked it up because I don't see a ton of, well, I picked it up because I thought it was cute, it was in good shape, but I also don't see a ton of men's life as good, um, and it's an extra large, so um, just sort of a slouchy, distressed hooded sweatshirt. Oh, which bag to grab first? First world problems. Okay, I'm going to grab this one. There is a pile sitting next to me. I may just break this up into two videos because this is a lot of stuff. Again, sorry for the crinkling. I would say it's going to go away, but I really don't think that it will. Um, oh, these will probably just be for me. Um, oh, wait, is this? No, yeah, this is my bag. Okay, cool. Um, these are uh, a pair of Fabletics uh, leggings. Um, I really like Fabletics. Uh, I don't buy them from the website. I usually pick them up secondhand on Poshmark. Um, these are also for me. I'm going uh, to the Bahamas uh, in October, and so these are just a pair of Tommy Bahama like beach pants. They you know tie in the front, and uh, they've got sort of a split leg. And I thought that that would be great to throw on over my swimsuit and uh, walk around the beach. Uh, these are <laughs> again vintage. What other people might think are ugly. Um, they're Jansen like swim shorts, tennis shorts. My guess is more tennis than anything, but oh, just, just a real classic. <laughs> what else did I get in here? Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in here for my daughter. Um, this is just a long sleeve that I grabbed for her for, um, for the gym and stuff. A pair of shorts for her. Um, this particular thrift store, all the kids clothes are like 75 cents. Like between 25 cents and 75 cents. So um, if I find things for her there, I just grab them. Just a pair of like leggings to go underneath her school uniform. Um, a little sports bra. I thought this was super cute. I love these like 
turning sequins shirts. Um, so I grabbed that for her. Oh, these would be mine if they fit me, but there is just no way. Um, so they're lambs and they're a size six, but they're these great, like longer, I don't know if I'd call them Bermuda shorts, but just longer striped shorts. Um, they're a linen blend, which is part of the reason that I got them because people who like linen really like linen. So pick those up. Um, another vintage uh, Land's End. Is this a Land's End too? I picked up a couple. Yeah, so this is a Land's End size 14. Um, the big difference is this is new old stock. So um, this still has the, the Land's End tag on it. Um, but it's another vintage 90s floral swimsuit. I've actually sold uh, quite a few of those. Um, and then these are some Joe's jeans. Um, I'm Joe's is kind of hit or miss for me. I have some that have gone really quickly. I have some that take a while, so I'm a little bit picky about what ones I pick up, but these were so cool. Um, they're like a tie-dyed, dip-dyed, I don't even know how to describe them. Um, and they're they're skinny. Uh, let's see what the fit on these is. Yep, they're the skinny. So I just thought, again, for, um, for back to school, that there is some skinny mini out there that's gonna wanna wear those. Oh, one more thing left in here. This is, oh, yep. Um, this one isn't vintage, but it's just a really nice women's Speedo. Uh, it's a 1238, um, and it is in a really pretty kind of chevron um, pattern. And it was such in that, it's such a nice shape. Uh, I have really good luck selling pre-owned swimsuits, so I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna turn that down. Okay, where to grab from next? Next time I'm gonna have to show you guys what <laughs> what it looks like when I talk about having a pile of stuff next to me because it's a truly ridiculous amount of stuff. Um, another vintage item, uh, this is Buyer California. If you grew up in the 90s, I'm sure that you remember this brand, um, but it's this very like floral grunge, throw on your combat boots kind of skirt. So I picked that up. Um, these are, uh, probably my daughter's just going to wear them, but I grabbed them. Um, they're American Eagle. They're a size two. They're the artist, um, but just in a really pretty, like dark wash, kind of a, a boot cut style. Um, so just a really basic, you know, they'll be 15 bucks or so. And, um, my guess would be that my cost of goods is probably going to be fairly low. Um, you know, so I, I'm sure I'll be able to make a decent profit on them. A uh, pair of uh, vintage overalls. They're just Arizona jeans, so they're not, uh, you know, Tommy Hilfiger. I've sold Tommy Hilfiger um, overalls before. Those are good money if you can find them. Um, but they're a size small, but they've got, you know, the carpenter loop and the wide legs and, you know, the carpenter pockets. And so I will always sell, I will always pick up vintage overalls. Uh, and then, oh, this is another from that, uh, that 10 for... 15 for $10 thrift store. Um, this is a brand that I really like. Um, I have found, oh, hold on, got to figure out where all the straps go. There we go. Um, it's Cacique. Um, so it's the lingerie and swimwear brand um, for Lane Bryant. Uh, but I've had really, really good luck with their bras before. So uh, if you can find bras from them in like the bigger sizes, I think I've had like 44, you know, triple D's and things like that. Those are harder to find. So, um, you know, pick them up. But this one was, it's brand new with tags. It's a tankini top. It's a size 22. Um, and it's got this sort of like caged chest. Um, just a really, really beautiful piece. So, um, again, another thing that I would love to get listed right away. Oh, I gotta work on my yoga because I can't sit with my legs like this for too long. Another reason for me to get back to working out. Uh, Green Bay Packers hat. That's just for me. Shout out to the pack. Uh, this is a Minnesota Vikings hat. The only reason I got this is because uh, it is uh, sort of an odd one, right? It's this chambray. I would put money that it's vintage um, based on the tag and everything, but it says it was made in China. So my guess would be it'd have to be like late 90s, uh, but it's got like the fabric strap back. Um, so 
I'm sure somebody somewhere wants that. Um, this is a Taggies um, Lovey. So if you don't know about Loveys, um, there's a great video that um, I think it is Suzanne A. Wells put out um, all about Loveys and security blankets. And they're great to pick up. They're super easy to store. Um, and when parents want a backup of their child's favorite, you know, security blanket, they'll go on eBay and they'll look for that specific one, um, or if they lose it or, or those kinds of things. So, um, you know, they're, they're not all super winners. They don't all sell for huge, you know, huge amount, but if you can pick them up for a good price, I recommend it. This is one I'm excited to look up. Um, it's Pencil Figure Athletic. Uh, it's a windbreaker. Uh, it has the spell out down the arm. Uh, it's got the Tommy logo on here. I mean, it's just a classic sort of, I would say, 90s sort of reminds me of boy bands uh, windbreaker. Oh, there is, for, for reference, I still have two more. I think what I'll, I've got two more paper bags and then I've got a storage bin and one of those big Ikea bags full. So I think what I'll do is I will do these two bags um, and then I'll save the rest for tomorrow. Okay, paper bag. What do we have in here? Oh, just a pair of Royal Robins um, shorts. Uh, sort of men's elf shorts. This was from another thrift store that we really liked. Um, a pair of... These are actually girls, um, so I'm going to see if I can get my daughter to wear them. She does not like jeans, so we'll see. Um, but they're Vigos. Um, I have mixed luck with them in women's. Um, I've had them sell for good money. I've had them sell for 15 bucks. So it just it really depends. Um, but they're the Jagger Skinny. They're a girl 16. But the reason I got them was, look at that embroidery. Isn't that sweet? Um, and it's got more embroidery like around the pockets. I just thought they were so so cool. So I'll try and get her to wear them. If she won't, then online they shall go. Um, oh, these are just a little pair of bike shorts for her. And then this was actually funny. We were standing in line. We show, This is one of my uh, the thrift stores I typically go to, but I normally go on Sundays because, well, they used to have $1.89 on Sundays, but now they've changed it to 80% off. So I haven't been, and I have a ton of stuff to get listed, so I don't need to do the shopping. Um, but we went in there, and it was randomly a 50% off day for card members. So we were standing in line, and they had like you know, ropes set up so that, you know, people stayed in line, but it was pretty dead by the time we got there. So I was sort of reaching across the rack on the other side and I randomly pulled this out. Um, and it was an Athleta, um, just sort of like a workout tank in a really pretty purple. It's got all of the sort of like flowers and so I was very, I was happy about that. One, one more paper bag and then we'll do the second part tomorrow. Um, these are, oh, this was such a strange sale. We walked in and I don't even know how to describe it. It was the entire driveway, the entire garage, um, this deck on the side, and then there were tents, um, like canopy tents set up in the backyard. So much stuff. Um, it was for a, a charity. I don't remember if it was for like a mission trip or what, but they had donations upon donations and apparently somebody's like hoarder mother had donated a bunch of stuff. I don't know, but so much stuff in such interesting variety. <laughs> like, you, I don't know. Um, so the one thing that I don't have here for this is um, I picked up two wooden um, tennis rackets uh, for my sister-in-law. She does um, like weaving in them. Um, so I picked those up and she already has those. Um, these are just some bags fall, more bags falling. Um, just some Rubbermaid take-alongs. I just grabbed those for me for in my kitchen. Uh, a couple of hair combs, again, just for me. Uh, this is a uh, 
Target branded fanny pack or bum bag or however you want to describe it. It's new. It's never been used. My guess would be that it was a Target corporate uh, employee that got that as some sort of gift. This was so random to be in there at, at this particular sale, but it just shows that sometimes doing some digging is, is worth it. So I'll take that tag off of it. Um, but it is an Eileen Fisher sort of waxed um, jacket. So it's, it's sort of a military style. Um, you know, it's got some cargo pockets. I really want to know what this is made out of now that I'm thinking about it. But it has that sort of like waxed feeling to the fabric. It's 100% organic linen. Um, so I, I picked that up. It was actually, it was... It was two dollars which was fairly inexpensive for how they had their clothes marked I mean they had some stuff that was more like you know exhilaration or target brand stuff that was marked for more so I'm guessing that whoever did the marking didn't know Eileen Fisher um, oh I got this just because I like vintage tees uh, it says I survived another Oshkosh um, so it's that super soft like um, you know, single stitch sleeves, so we're talking 70s, 80s. Uh, I got this for all of the crossover I Want Christmas and Snoopy fans, so it's just a long sleeve t-shirt, or excuse me, just a regular t-shirt. Uh, this is another one for me. Uh, it's a, It says Hogwarts alumni. I have been wanting, well, to be fair, I don't need any more Hogwarts, Harry Potter, anything in that family, um, but that doesn't stop me from buying it. Uh, this is a Land's End Fisherman hat, so just like a, you know, outdoors fisherman's hat. Oh, this is another thing just for me. Uh, it's a lavender scented rice bag. Uh, mine I have had since the early 2000s, so it's starting to get a little grimy. So I'm getting rid of it and using this new one. Oh, I picked up a little bit more vintage gift wrap, just the stuff that was really cool. Um, so this is like a tropical, um, there's, you know, a tugboat it looks like, or like a cruise. Um, so that was really pretty. And then this one is, um, it's, it's obviously, it's, it's even called masculine, um, but it's got tools, it's got hammers and shovels and measuring tapes, and um, somebody is going to love that. Um, one of the things that you'll find with vintage gift wrap is a lot of times people buy it um, to use for scrapbooking. So that'll be like the background of the scrapbooking page, and then the pictures and things will go on top of that. So I think a lot of times people appreciate some of the more unique backgrounds that you can get with the vintage gift wrap. are just some hand warmers I picked up for um, my kid for in the winter so if she wants to play outside she can keep her little mitts warm. Uh, this is uh, uh, unique and I'm, I ha I'm gonna have to do some research on it because I'm not entirely sure so um, it is homemade um, it's finished on the back somewhat it's on paper but it looks like it is a um, it looks like silk um, but it's all hand hand stitched so I'm gonna have and it, it's, it's got you know an Asian theme to it so I'm gonna have to do some research on what kind of um, what kind of stitching it is or you know what what this kind of uh, art would be called I'm not sure if it would be considered cruel um, but I will do some looking and then part two is how do I want to store and ship that. Do I want to roll it up? Do I want to try and do it flat? Uh, questions for another day. And then the last thing that I will show right now um, is just this pair of, they're just Land's End, um, but they're men's hiking boots. They're in really, really nice shape. Um, I'll take a brush to them and clean up the bottoms, um, but they're in really good shape. So I picked those up.
So I am going to stop there. I will do the second part of this tomorrow um, so that I can clean up the mess that I have just created around me. Um, and then in uh, the description below, I will include what my cost per item uh, was since I didn't calculate that ahead of time. So um, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, um, feel free to add comments down below. Um, if you like watching these types of videos, I'm gonna try and be a little bit more regular here on YouTube. Um, just because I think it helps keep me motivated and I really like watching other people's videos. So um, I hope you learned something. If you have any suggestions or keywords, um, like I said, definitely feel free to leave them down below. Um, and then like this video, subscribe uh, if you want to keep up to date with what I'm putting out. Thanks and have a great day!